Hello friends, Nick here at Today I'm going to show you a handy little tip that has to do with the plugin thumbnails here in the browser window. In order to have these little thumbnails appear for the plugins, you have to click on this little window button here and that gives you this view here. And with the official Presona plugins, you'll get all these handy little thumbnails and you get a visual cue of which plugin you might be interested in using. But let's say you want that for third party plugins as well. Can you make it happen? You sure can. Over here, I have a bunch of plugin alliance stuff and you see I have thumbnails for a bunch of these plugins, which is really handy, really cool. If you're not sure which plugin you want to use, you know, you can just kind of quickly scroll through it. It's a lot easier to take a peek at some thumbnails than having to read a bunch of text. So I much prefer that. And if you do as well, I will show you how to make that happen with third party plugins uh, right now. So let's scroll down here to my wave stuff. Got a bunch of stuff that doesn't have thumbnails. So let's make some thumbnails happen. So let's grab a plugin, let's throw it on an insert. And you know what? I want it to kind of look like it's doing something. So let's load a preset. And all we have to do is go up here to where the plugin tab is. And then we click on this little triangle. This brings up this menu. And we just go down here to update plugin thumbnail. And see, that gives us a thumbnail of our plugin in whatever settings it currently is in. Load in uh, another instance of a different plugin. So let's say H reverb. All right. So this is the default view and we'll just save the thumbnail like that. And we have it right there. So all we did, we just click here and update plugin thumbnail and boom. Let's say we want to update, let's preset EDM kick bomb. Cool. And we can update the thumbnail of the plugin by just, again, just clicking here, update plugin thumbnail. And you can see it changed to match whatever settings are in the plugin window. And that's basically it. And you can go through your plugins and you can set the thumbnails for whichever ones you want or all of them if you want. Uh, but this is a really handy way to get a quick view of all your plugins. You don't have to use it. So you might just want a list, but I personally much prefer seeing a visual cue of the plugin. So there's that. That's basically it for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm out.